So one of the questions that I've had is where is the best place to put my bees? Because I'm gonna have a beehive. And one of the things, to, there are lots of things to think about when placing a beehive. So you wanna be sort of free from winds, um, kind of have some fencing or something to keep them relatively dry. You want them near lots of forage. Um, you want them safe from animals and uh, also from theft, which is a thing. Um, bears will eat your beehives, which is, I think about Winnie the Pooh and his like little pot of honey, but it's, it's much more violent and destructive than that. Um, so we were kind of walking around thinking, where are we gonna put my bees? And what you're seeing sort of here, this is kind of the remnants of the old barn. So it used to be a much larger barn um, and it was an L shape. So you can see, I'm just gonna power through here. Um, lots of leftover stone walls and some beams and stuff. Um, so we kind of walked along this path a little bit, a very nice little path once we clear out all the vines and it, it does have a concrete floor. And we walked in here and I felt very secret garden in here. Um, Cause it's, it's actually, it's probably about two degrees warmer than outside because it does have these lovely windbreak walls. Um, but this, the roof is obviously gone. And there's a nice big tree in here that's kind of dying, um, but still has some life in it. Lots of weeds, a little bit of garbage, like we found everywhere on the property. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear this out, um, pull these beams out with the backhoe, um, choke out these weeds a little bit with some landscape fabric. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of put in a stone floor. There's already some concrete blocks in here, which will come in very handy. Um, put down a stone floor and some gravel and a little bit of landscape fabric underneath all that to keep the weeds at bay. And we're gonna put my beehive in here. So this actually turned out kind of perfect. Um, you can see this kind of goes on and on a bit. We're, we're just gonna work on this part today. There's things back there. I don't even know what they are, like garbage wise. Uh, we're probably gonna have a pretty big bonfire tomorrow of all the stuff we pulled out of here. But I'm pretty excited that we found a spot for my little beehive. Um, and actually what I love about this space is that it is bigger. So once we pull a lot of this stuff out, uh, if I wanna go into multiple hives, three, four, five hives, we have this space, it's really great. Um, you can actually see it if you walk up this hill because it was a banked barn. Um, you can look over down into it. So I can just like briefly check on them really easily uh, if I don't feel like coming all the way in. Um, but so I'm gonna start work on that tomorrow, make some room for my bees. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm not 100% sure when I get them, but I'm hoping within the next couple weeks. So yeah, that's gonna be tomorrow's project. You can see the sun's going down. We had a little bit of an adventure with the goats outside for the first time free range, and they seem to enjoy that. Um, and I think we're gonna head inside and uh, have some dinner and go to bed. And then wake up nice and early to get started on this. Thanks for watching.